Good morning, everyone. My name is Father Bob Gross, and it is Tuesday, May 31st uh, at 8.28 a.m. And welcome to my kitchen. I had a couple tr triscuits last night. I like those. Um, today um, is the last day of May, and it is the Feast of the Visitation of Our Lady to Elizabeth. We remember the day. That second joyful mystery, the love of neighbor, charity, uh, in which Mary leaves Nazareth to check in on her cousin Elizabeth, who's pregnant with John the Baptist, and Mary's pregnant with our Lord. Two pregnant women bringing the hope of the world into the world. So much excitement and beauty in new life. Today's the fifth day of our novena to the Holy Spirit in preparation for Pentecost. I want to share that with all of you and pray that with all of you. And then later in the day, if you can't pray with us right now, you can pray later on um, the, the recorded video. Today looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Uh, we had a little excitement in Kelmer. The black bear that's been going around Winnishik County showed up to Kelmer. That was kind of interesting. And... Uh, Tonight is the last gathering of all the parish councils. Uh, tonight, May 31st, 6.30 at St. Al's Church Basement. It'll be a chance to be with the parish councils one last time. And um, yeah, so another, another time of saying goodbye and farewell. So I hope you have a good day and I hope you had a good Memorial Day weekend. So let's pray. And the prayers are in the post, just so you know. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Light immortal, light divine, visit thou these hearts of thine, and our inmost being fill. The gift of knowledge. The gift of knowledge enables the soul to evaluate created things at their true worth, in their relation to God. Knowledge unmasks the pretense of creatures, reveals their emptiness, and points out their only true purpose as instruments in the service of God. It shows us the loving care of God, even in adversity, and directs us to glorify him in every circumstance of our life. Guided by its light, we put first things first and prize the friendship of God beyond all else. Knowledge is a fountain of life to him that possesses it. Let us pray. Come, O blessed spirit of knowledge, and grant that I may perceive the will of the Father. Show me the nothingness of earthly things, that I may realize their vanity and use them only for your glory and my own salvation, looking ever beyond them to you and your eternal rewards. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we do the seven glory bees for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. For the gift of fear of the Lord, glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the gift of piety, glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the gift of knowledge, glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the gift of fortitude, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the gift of counsel, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the gift of understanding, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
and for the gift of wisdom. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now we pray the prayer of consecration to the Holy Spirit. On my knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul and body, to you, eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for your light and listen to your voice and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you and ask you by your compassion to watch over me in my weakness. Holding the pierced feet of Jesus and looking at his five wounds and trusting in his precious blood and adoring his open side and stricken heart, I implore you, adorable spirit, helper of my infirmity, so to keep me in your grace that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to you always and everywhere, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. And our last prayers for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit to our Lord Jesus. O Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven did promise to send the Holy Spirit to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples, deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom that I may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after the things that are eternal. The spirit of understanding to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth. The spirit of counsel that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven. The spirit of fortitude that I may bear my cross with you and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation. The spirit of knowledge that I may know God and know myself and grow perfect in the science of the saints. The spirit of piety that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable. The spirit of fear that I may be filled with a loving reverence towards God and may dread in any way to displease him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples and animate me in all things with your spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation. Through the same Christ our Lord, amen. And may Almighty God bless you this day and may Mother Mary keep you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God bless you.